ACID is an acronym to describe some items of databases. Now let's look at this example. We have my account and my store's account, and these are transactions I've made. So what's going to happen is I'm going to buy something from the store. So in order to do this, we're going to send two um, bits of information. The first is say, hey, I'm going to spend $200. So on this date, I'm going to take $200 out of my account. And then it's going to add it to my store's account. Right? So there are two different um, items, two different transactions. Now, what would happen, for example, if something happened during this? And let me say I took $200 out of my account. Now, the bank processes this, right? The bank owns these tables and they're doing these transactions internally. Before they could run the next statement and say, add $200 to my store's account, there's a big power cut and everything goes wrong. And the bank doesn't know what was going on because everything shut down. So now when they reboot, the system's going to say, I have $200 less and the store doesn't get that $200. So I'm going to be very annoyed and the store's going to be very annoyed. So ACID is an acronym which helps to stop items like this. And the first um, letter in it is automicity. So this means that all statements take place or the transaction doesn't happen. So we call this a transaction, right? So two statements, take $200 in my account, put it in their account. And this is all wrapped up into what we call a transaction. So everything has to happen, otherwise nothing can happen at all, right? We can't have just one of them happen, take it out of my account and not add it to the other account. Consistency. This just says everything must be the same before and after this transaction, right? Which is all of these different statements that run. Also, we have database rules, such as saying, you know, this has to be a currency column, this is a data column, they must be observed. And then the amount of money in this example, it couldn't, $200 couldn't have just disappeared from the system. We need to stop that happening. This is very important. Isolation. We can say, you know, no other processes can happen at the same time. Now, if you look at my account, right, these are the transactions. So I added $1,000 to my account, I spent 100 which means I have 900 left. Let's say we do this again. But it doesn't really matter which way around. So let's say we add the $200 to the store's account because we know we're going to debit it from my account. But I'm also doing a separate transaction. Now, first action is that they add the store's 200 but in a separate, I actually buy something for $800. Now we can see we add this up. I only have $100 left in my account because these two things happen simultaneously. This green one kind of slipped between the two transactions here. And this means I don't actually have enough to pay for this. So obviously this is a big issue. So no other processes, right? This has to be isolated from others so they can't mess up things happening at the same time. And lastly, durability. This just means that we need things to be permanent. So once this has happened, you need to you know, write it to a disk, store it permanently, so if there's a power cut in the future, it doesn't undo everything that's happened.